Ryan Avery from Vedra, and today we're here to talk about how to change the lens mounts on a Vedra Mini Prime lenses. I have here the 25mm Vedra Mini Prime, and we have a number of mounts available for it. It becomes available in Micro Four Thirds mount, also available in Sony E, C mount, and we have some other mounts coming soon as well. The E mount is the first lens mount that we'll perform the change on. So we have a Micro Four Thirds mount 25mm Vedra Mini Prime lens here, and we have the uh, E mount lens kit which comes in a two-piece assembly with a cap inside this mini prime accessory box. The Vedra mini prime e-mount accessory is available for the 25 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter and soon coming 85 millimeter mini prime lenses. So the first thing you do is take off the cap here and you see just a mechanical mount with four screw holes and what we do is we take the lens for step one and we turn it down with the lens cap on facing us. And then what you do is you just turn, take off the lens cap, and you have your Micro Four Thirds mount here. To change the lens mount, not included with this kit are two screwdrivers. You're going to need a number one Phillips head driver and a zero flathead driver. These are available in any hardware store if you don't already have them in your kit. So all you do in the first step is remove the Micro Four Thirds lens mount by removing the four silver color screws on the mount. So you push some pressure down, and you just unscrew them. The screws from the factory are applied with Loctite, so that means that they're very difficult to break sometimes, so you have to press downward with a bit of force to get the screw to come out. If it gives you too much trouble, you should stop and not strip out the head screw and give us an email or a call to find out what's going on. After the screws have been removed, it's necessary to pull the existing mount off. It's held on only with a compression fit, so there's no threading or anything else holding it in place, although it can be on there quite stiff because the tolerances that we machine these to are very tight. So you can try by simply just putting your hands on the Micro Four Thirds mount and pulling upwards. This one lifted right off with no problem. If it does give you some trouble and it's really stiff, you can try rotating it left to right or you can take a flathead driver that you should have reach under the black area near the iris ring and pry upwards. Now that the Micro Four Thirds mount has been removed, it's time to put on the mechanical Sony E-mount adapter. There are no shims required in this process, although you will find some shims here on the side. The holes, the four screw holes on here are asymmetrical, so there's no way to get the positioning wrong. You just line up the four screw holes and it will line up with the index ring perfectly every time. The holes on the Vedra Mini Prime E-mount are asymmetrical, so they only line up one way, but another easy way to tell how if you're in alignment is if you look at the index ring on the iris and the new index ring for the mount, if you line them up, you should be on alignment for the holes, so that will help you put them in the right position. Now that the screw holes have been positioned on the E-mount, you simply take the screws from your original Micro Four Thirds mount, place them in the hole, and screw down, applying even pressure. It's very important not to over torque these screws. If you over torque them, you will damage the thread holes and potentially cause yourself a pretty significant problem. It's also important when screwing the E mount in that you put in all four screws, not all the way down, in like a star pattern or opposing to make sure that you don't over tighten one side of the mount versus the other. Now that the E-mount has been successfully installed, it's important to take note that your index ring on your mounting for the Micro Four Thirds mount is no longer accurate. This red dot no longer applies. Instead, you have to pay attention to the white machine line here, which matches the white dot on your Sony camera. So be sure not to get confused with that. We can recommend painting this in if you don't plan on going back to Micro Four Thirds, or you can just leave it alone and just remember that the white channel is where you mount your lens. The difference in the flange depth between Micro Four Thirds mount and Sony E mount, and flange depth being this surface here to the distance to the sensor, is uh, only about one millimeter. So the accuracy of your focus scale should stay about the same on your camera. However, if you want to accurately calibrate your focus scale, it will be necessary to loosen the screws on the focus ring itself and slide the index ring of the infinity mark back to the original position. So to do that, you simply unscrew the screws that are on the uh, focus ring here in multiple positions. There's uh, three to four of them on each focus ring, and then you can just simply freely slide this focus ring to the proper position if your marks are off. 
Your mark should be the same. You shouldn't need to adjust it, but if you want to, you can, and we'll show you how to do that here. To adjust the focus scale, all you simply do is take your flathead driver and you unscrew the screws along the focus scale here. You'll notice your index ring here, and then you just slide around and find the flathead screws on each one. Just loosen them, back them out to about three quarters position. Do not take them all the way out or you'll be trying to find those for days. Take them out. And after they've all been loosened, you can freely slide the focus scale to the position that you need. This is a unique feature to Vedra Mini Primes and enables you to quickly adjust your focus scale for accuracy without having to shim the lens or use a collimator or any of the things that you find in traditional lenses. Thanks again for watching everybody, and if you have any other questions, you can email us, info at vader.com, or you can go to vader.com and uh, contact us there.